So today was going to be the day I, uh, I climbed Ben Lomond, but uh, but look at her weather. I'm, I'm just at a place called Campsie Glen, which is beautiful in itself. Look at that mist though. So, I don't know much about climbing mountains, but I don't think today is the day to do it. That looks really angry up there, doesn't it? See you there. Talking of angry, he looks a bit fed up, doesn't he? What are you doing? Having me lunch. Oh, someone have their lunch in peace. It's beautiful here, though. sort of picturesque. Hmm. Oh, hope that's not a toilet door. There we go. You need 20 pence. Well, oh, but that's the only coin I've not got. I'll lay money on it. It's a story of my life. No. No, never mind. Onwards and upwards. I'm going to try and find the, uh, the waterfall, which I'm told is pretty impressive. There we go. Who needs 20p when you've got a tree? That rhymes, doesn't it? Just a little tip. If you're going to go out in Scotland and it's sort of September and the mist is coming down on the hills and the mountains Bring a coat. So here we go, I think I found the famous Campsy Glen waterfall. I'm not going to lie, I thought it would be bigger than that. But, I suppose, it is a waterfall, can't argue with that. Uh, yeah. Right, I'm going to have a little look around see if I can find anything else. Yeah, that's quite a nice little view, that's right on top of that little bit of waterfall that I just showed you. Quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, my, my old Dan used to say, whatever you've got, um, use it. Um, and uh, I, th I think, you know, in in the waterfall case at uh, uh, um, Campsy Glen, they they've done just uh, they've done just that. So so fair enough. I mean, uh, the fact is, I've probably had taps that are more impressive from a a water flow point of view. But uh, but no, it's, it's Beautiful, it's a beautiful place. So to just come just for the for the beauty. More empty water bottle there. Some people are just ingenious, aren't they? Yeah, I can't really find the source of this uh, <clears throat> of this waterfall. Very beautiful, though. Naturally beauty. Naturally beauty. Naturally beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty lovely. The, the trail ends there. I can't go any further up there. It's a big hand, a big wooden hand, basically saying stop. No, it's lovely. Shame people litter, aren't it? Eh? Look at that. It's just a shame.
you know any kids that just drop litter like that? Obviously you can't do nothing about them because, you know, you're not supposed to tell kids off nowadays, they can just do what they want, but, you know, the, you know, the, the parents, I don't think it's too extreme to sort of, uh, I don't know, um, I think it's too extreme to electrocute them. Electrodes on the nipples, that'll sort them out, that'll stop the littering. It's a bit radical. That's a joke, by the way, for those woke people watching this. There's a big hand I was telling you about. It's basically saying stop. Let's have a little look around this corner, though. So if the next part of this uh, video is underwater, you should know that I should have stopped. So look at that, look at that workmanship. That gate. See, my thoughts are, if you're going to do a job like that, why bother? You know, someone's obviously thought, right in the middle of a forest or whatever you want to call it, we need a gate that blocks off absolutely nothing. So they said to the guy, can we have a straight one maybe? Or they might have said, can we have a really bent gate? Because it's not going to stop anything anyway. What do I know? My balustrada uh, knowledge is minimal, really, I'll be honest. Now that is a spooky tree. If you was here alone at night, you would say, that's a spooky tree. That's an old, old tree, isn't it, eh? Looks like it should have a hobbit living under it. Yeah, back to clothing. Make sure uh, you wear shorts, not trousers, because it's ideal for uh, for walking along places like this. Absolutely ideal. You mug mainly. Sometimes you do it in life, but I've done it at Campsy Glen. You think, I'll take that pass. How much you took it? You think, no, that was a bad decision. I think I'm reliving my life on one pass. See what there is at the top. There we are, halfway up this pass, looking down on Campsy Glen Visitor Centre. And over there, looking at the hill, surely this path don't go up that hill. I'm going to follow it and see. Whew. Look at that, up this beautiful. Beautiful, beauty spot, and you find that. Sorry, woke people. He'd have uh, he'd have electrodes on his meat and two veg. That stop him. So here I am. That nice grey path ended, and I'm back to the mudslides. I ain't gonna lie, I think the person laying that path was a bit lazy. You're either a path maker or you're not, ain't you?
Seems to be going away from the top of the hill, so I'm just going to give up while well, I've still got uh, unbroken legs and make my way back down. So there we go. Sir Ranulph finds Sir Edmund Hillary, Chris Bonington, never climbed Campsie Glen. Glen has. Another thing about hill walking, don't bother with some nice sturdy hill walking uh, boots. Just stick an old pair of trainers on because until you've gone downhill in a pair of trainers on a mudslide, you'll never know, even in your late 50s or whatever age you are, you'll never know how just, just how fast you can still run. Uh, I've just found out, I'm sure I passed to same bolt on the way down. Whew. Don't bother doing any training for this type of thing either. Just just go out. That's been squashed, that was when I run down the hill. Fortunately I found this path. So uh, I'm not using mudslides anymore. So yeah, I, I, I'll tell you this, I didn't take any photographs because I didn't want to get done for slander or didn't have any permissions or whatever. So uh, so I didn't take didn't take any footage. But I'm walking along and uh, just, just coming back from the, the waterfall at uh, Campsie Glen and, and this guy approaches me, just a bloke on his own wearing a uh, pink t-shirt, shorts and uh, he, uh, I just walked by him and you know you nod and you acknowledge and he said, he goes, oh, he says, are, you, are you walking on your own? So uh, I, I, I was sort of a little bit taken aback, I said, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm walking on my own. So he said, he goes, oh, perhaps we could walk into the woods together. And uh, you know, it's probably a really sincere offer from just a nice bloke, but but I just thought to myself, you could be a gay rapist. So uh, I, I didn't know what to say. I said, no, I, I said oh, I'm I'm fine actually. I said, and uh, I, I just like to to film things on my own. You know, I didn't like to say, oh, got out for the day, look at a place of beauty, don't know, end up getting bummed. <laughs> Because that would have just sounded even weirder than his first suggestion. But uh, but that's what I was thinking in my mind. Um, but yeah, I'm probably doing him a right injustice. But uh, I just thought it was a bit strange. Probably because I'm not used to nice people. So there we have, that's Campsie Glen Visitor Centre. We've got the Artisan Gallery Studio, Willcraft, Practical Magic and a Bar Bistro at the end. You want to go by a bike, there you go, bike stand. And as with any area of natural beauty, we've got a building site. They must say, that looks nice over there. Sod it, we'll build on it. The Thomas Muir Trail. How do you get a trail named after you? Oh, Thomas Muir, he's always walking down there. It's just... Uh, name it after him yeah the other thing you want to do if you go for a hike like that or if you climb up a hill or a, a big hill or a mountain is leave your water in the car that way if you get stuck up there you can die of dehydration as well I'm a proper plum today anyway onwards and upwards <laughs>